The situation appears calm in the capital, including the business district of Rajpasol, where soldiers have remained off the streets. The military says their decision is meant to safeguard public security. Anti-government demonstrations have been intensifying since last November. The political turmoil took on another dimension earlier this month when former Prime Minister Ying Lakshinawat was dismissed from office. Strict security measures are in place across the Thai capital, where soldiers armed with assault rifles are guarding major government buildings. Troops have also been deployed at the TV station Channel 9, where NHK's Asia Bureau is located. Early Tuesday morning, Army Chief General Prayutan Ocha declared martial law by the country's main television channels. To keep peace and order, we need to bring peace back to the people of every group quickly. I hereby exercise the right under Article 2 and 4 of the Martial Law Act of 1914 to invoke martial law nationwide from May the 20th, 2014 at 3 a.m. The general stressed that the purpose of martial law was to safeguard public order. People carry on with their daily lives with mixed reactions about the sudden imposition of martial law. There seems to be no way out of the confrontation between the pro and anti-government factions. In this kind of situation, martial law is probably unavoidable. I don't know about the details. But given that the situation has been worsening, imposing martial law is probably better than standing by and doing nothing. Former Prime Minister Thaksin and his loyalist governments put priority on measures to help poor people in the heavily populated North and the Northeast. These regions have been left behind by economic growth. The pro-Thaksin camp hasn't lost a single election since 2001. The middle class in Bangkok and other large cities criticize the Thaksins of buying the elections and wasting taxpayers' money to remain in power. The confrontation between the two factions has been continuing for more than 10 years.